We have Edgeby versus Mozzarella, best of five. Edgeby is currently the record holder for the longest win streak on my stream. And that number is five matches. Mozzarella will open the scoring with an air dribble flip reset. Tucks it in the top shelf. It's worth mentioning that the five-game win streak that Edgeby was able to accomplish was actually his first five matches. He just started playing some ones on the stream and went crazy. Well, ironically enough, Mozzarella has accomplished nearly the same feat. He is currently 4-0 on the stream. Has won his first four matches. And I, I, I have to say, Mozzarella actually is the one that pointed this out. He messaged me after his fourth win and was like, hey, I want to set up a fifth one. I want to try to take down that record from Edgeby. And so we thought, hey, what better way to do that than by facing Edgeby? So we've got some stakes on the line here. Edgeby looking to defend that five, uh, five win streak record. Mozzarella looking to, at the moment, tie the record. And of course, if he ties it, you know he will be trying to extend that win streak as long as he can. It's a good recovery for Mozzarella. He's on low boost, so he'll have to be careful here. Edgeby. We'll just take it back, refill the tank, and begin again. Whoa! Mozzarella had an open backboard, but couldn't land the double. We'll get another chance here. A little hesitation. Looks for the near side backflip flick. No luck this time. Now Edgeby down the right side. Whoa, air dribble. Now he's up the left wall. There's a big challenge win for Mozzarella and an open net. He will slot it. Early challenge for Mozzarella will shut down the chance before he begins. But Edgeby holds the boost advantage, puts a shot towards the target, but a diving save from Mozzarella will keep the scoreline locked 3 2 halfway through the game. So, another reminder it is a best of five. Mozzarella from the back corner, first touch. Could be better. Oh, my word. HB narrowly avoids being demoed twice now. Both players full tank. Mozzarella with control in the corner. HB one touch, two touch, but he can't get it on target. Now Mozzarella looking for the full field clear. It's off target, but he has the rebound for a third. Just under two minutes to play. And Mozzarella has tied us up. Whoa. Edgeby with a creative aerial play. Not going to work out. He's got to hustle back to defense. Mozzarella's shot is off target. Oh, a favorable bounce, though. Edgeby, zero boost. Very precarious position. Mozzarella with slow play underneath is good for a fourth.
That's a great collection. Edgeby with a quick counterattack. Handles the low 50 there on the uh, in the blue box and just recovers a smidge faster than mozzarella. There's another specialty kickoff from mozzarella. Earns him possession in the corner. Both players fully boosted. Oh, that is not what you want to see. Mozzarella turned over possession, and it's a freebie for Edgeby. I mean, that was just... Yeah, see, Mozzarella's frustrated there. He wanted to stick around in hopes that Edgeby would pursue that play, and he could quickly dunk him. But Edgeby showed some patience, waited for the right time to challenge, and was presented with a, a gift from Mozzarella. Oh, look at that. What an incredible read. Mozzarella knew exactly what Edgeby was doing. And cut it off. 27 seconds left. Oh, man, that's so well done. See the awareness as well. Checking behind him to ensure he's got plenty of time. That is a tough mistake. He may still be able to put this on target. It's a little uncomfortable for him, but he will have the final chance. He looks to go up over the top. Edgeby able to provide a single challenge, and he will down it, so we go to overtime. Edgeby shot. Easily swept to the right side of the field by Mozzarella. He's going to go all in. All the boost. He needed the bump, but I still don't know if he'll get back in time. Edgeby accelerates the play down the field, and he will get a six. The Mozzarella immediately out, probably going for a, a car change, I would have to assume. But that was certainly an all-in play. Oh, great shot. Edgeby got there quicker than I thought he could. You could hear it. There was a, a wall dash somewhere along the wall there. That is uh, incredible intelligence there by Mozzarella, knowing exactly where the threat was coming from. and Now he's on defense. A full field air dribble from Edgeby. And the flip reset results in a funky recovery. Maza will put in the counterattack. Early flick. Edgeby gets a second. That's well done. Those corners are always dangerous in the 1v1 arena. Well done. Mozzarella needs to take advantage of that situation. Edgeby's clear. Hit the ceiling. Which gave Mozzarella an easy catch. Flick to the left side is good. He's got a second. And if he wants a victory, he's certainly going to have to capitalize on the opportunities that Edgeby presents him. That's a great first touch. Like the attempt. Now he's got to hustle back. Edgeby just a bit too quick. Edgeby playing very efficient Rocket League.
<laughs> it's a good shot from Edgeby. He didn't really get the contact that he wanted, but it doesn't matter. He had uh, the threat of a few different options, and Mozzarella had to respect them all. Well done. What an adjustment. Mozzarella spots the early challenge. Positions to absorb the challenge if Edgeby does make contact. And of course, since he's in position for the block and Edgeby zooms past it, he's got the freebie there for a third. Three minutes, just over three minutes to play. Edgeby's flick towards the target, handled easily by Mozzarella. He's got control along the right side. And you know, this is, it's not the exact same, it's not unfolding in the exact same manner, but it's very similar to the previous series where it looks like Mozzarella is guessing at what Edgeby's going to do, and it looks like Edgeby has the read on what Mozzarella's going to do. Mozzarella has guessed right a few times. But the consistency with the challenge game from Edgeby, the decision making. Edgeby gets a sixth. Well done. Mozzarella needed that. He's got a fourth, quickly brought that deficit down, back down to two. You see Edgeby's able to save that wave dash for, uh, you know, after the kickoff once he recovers. And that's been the difference. However, Mozzarella makes the save this time. And he's got the counter. Well done. Edgeby, huge resource advantage after grabbing that corner. Times has dodged well, finds the far side of the net. W. Sam, thank you so much for the prime sub. 17 months. Unpopular opinion. You don't like the new map. Funny enough, <clears throat> funny enough, I was I've asked both of these play uh, both show matches, both you know all the players. And there it is again, just another fantastic read from Edgeby. I've asked them all if they want to play on the new map. And both times we've had a player say they don't, you know, they want to play on Manfield Knight. And Edgeby, uh, you know, he echoed that sentiment. He said he doesn't like the map. Another all in play for Mozzarella. Edgeby's able to make the save and punch home a counter attack. <clears throat> Actually didn't even, wasn't even required for the save. Mozzarella hit it off the post. Near post strike for Mozzarella. What a demo. Smart play. Accelerating that towards the net as quickly as possible. Once again, deficit down to two. He's got a minute to play. Plenty of time. Kickoffs have just been a nightmare. Edgeby's likely scoring another one here. Mozzarella's got to find a way to neutralize this advantage that Edgeby has. That's a great shot. Let's see what we get here.
Gonna have his boost stolen as well. Edgeby will, of course, dare him to come challenge, step forward. It's a great 50 for Mozzarella. Well done. And he's got a little pinch clear. Earned himself some space. Edgeby off the ceiling. And he is just, like we said earlier, he's just done such a good job of, of reading what Mozzarella's plan is, where the threat is, where to position. But there's a little bit uh, of a unique flick. Something that... Mozzarella has struggled with is showing Edgeby something that he hasn't seen. There's a full 180 degree black, uh, backflip flick. He's put in an eighth and he's given himself 14 seconds to work with. Hold on, he's got possession on kickoff. Let's see if he can cross over Edgeby a little bit. And the flick to the top shelf is good. Perfect execution for Mozzarella. In fact, he's even got time to steal this in regulation. They kick off Mozzarella. Earns possession. It's a full field air dribble. He knows Edgeby has been challenging early, so plays accordingly. Edgeby still good for the save. We had the thing happen. <laughs> we had the thing happen. What are the odds? Mozzarella! <laughs> He's going to steal it. In overtime. <clears throat> so that is a that is a current bug. Obviously more uh well maybe not more likely, but um you know obviously possible in 1v1s. If you get demoed and you have not respond before overtime begins, you get stuck in the demo spawn. Not the actual kickoff spawn. That's why we had to uh, pause it and, and, and get restarted there. So what? To be fair, you know, I said a similar thing. I, I didn't think it would happen all that frequently. But I, I think, uh, you know, in an ideal world, you just don't have to worry about it at all. Fortunately, we do have a, a way to uh, fix that here. Although, obviously, again, still not ideal. Oh, that's a great flick. Holy moly, an even better save. Mozzarella showing some love in the chat. That was... Incredibly well done by Edgeby. In fact, the doink is on target as well. Mozzarella will bury the double touch. Edgeby will be getting around this to put in his first. <laughs> Chevelle. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the recovery. Mozzarella able to keep that attempt from Edgeby out. Edgeby. Not the greatest first touch. It's going to cost him quite a bit of boost. Holy flick. 
sent that up high. He did well to avoid being demoed there. Now Mozzarella on low boost. And he will be conceding. Edge beat. Grabs a one goal lead. We got three minutes to play. Uh, uh, should be a lower scoring deal this game. Last game, Edgeby made the joke, said they need to score more. They put in 19 goals. Mozzarella able to wrestle his way into position for the boost steal. He sent that shot wide, so Edgeby has time to collect a pad or two and get back into defensive position. Another high flick, and this time Edgeby grabs the boost and will begin to immediately pressure. Well done. Fantastic patience. Mozzarella had a chance for an aerial play. Decided, you know what? I don't like that. Edgeby's not challenging. I'm going to bring this down to the ground. Single touch. Flick over the top. 2.17 to play. We're tied up once again. Mozzarella should have this following possession as well. That is a clang from Edgeby. A little greedy from Mozzarella. Not, not much, but a little greedy. He wanted that boost to spawn. Ceiling set up for Mozzarella. Oh! Looking for a musty uh, double touch attempt there. He may have just passed that to Edgeby. Oh, no. <laughs> Mozzarella drops calculated in the chat. The back pass, which was obviously intended for uh, you know him to ma maintain control back into his own side. Edgeby quickly sneaks into position. Now, here's a back pass that could be an own goal. Okay, Edgeby will get back in time. Both players looking to do one another a favor. Again, just great read from Edgeby. Wow, that is a phenomenal save. Mozzarella able to keep the first attempt out, but Edgeby does get the second one across the goal line. I thought he sniped it from deep, but that's it. that is another example of um, you know Edgeby just having a fantastic read on what his opponent is doing. Uh-oh. Mozzarella, a small opening. But he will make it count. Edgeby's played it well to drain that clock. That will do it for game number three. Edgeby moves forward to match point. All right. 
Game number four. I'm not really sure what happened. Yeah. We're just going to reset at five minutes. Uh, it looked like... It looked like mozzarella was not ready. So here we go. Not ready or a controller DC or something. He did not go for kickoff. All right, here we go. Game four. We're live. The real deal this time. Edge me with a delay dodge. Let's threaten early, but mozzarella is good for the save. There's another big flick. And a quick recovery from Mozzarella this time. Should allow him to at least get into a good position for defense. Big challenge win there for Mozzarella. Puts the first in for game four. Fantastic setup. Shot is good. But it was directly at the defender. So edge beat with an easy save. Keeps the score line at 1-0. Mozzarella now. Another setup for an aerial play. Decides to bail out of it. Take things a little bit safer. I think it's a good call. At least early in game four. In fact, he may turn this into a scoring opportunity. Top shelf. Bar down and in. Mozzarella up two. Edgeby will be gifting Mozzarella a third as he completely missed on his aerial uh, kind of ceiling setup. And now Mozzarella throws a fake kickoff, earns himself a possession. Going to be a favorable bounce for Edgeby. Mozzarella seems to have toned down the risks that he's taking a little bit. That's well read. This time, Edgeby hopping off the sidewall. And so the difference is that he's in plain sight the entire time. Mozzarella knows exactly when he is going to die for that challenge. And he knows exactly how to lift it up over the top. It's a great flick. I want to watch this again. Just tucked it right behind Mozzarella. As soon as he jumped up and, and, and got airborne, Edgeby knew that he was not going to be able to turn that momentum around. But he tucks the flick in behind.
misstep from Mozzarella on the goal line. Edgeby just continues to stay active on absolutely no boost. Well executed delay kickoff, but Edgeby with a quick recovery actually snags possession away. Mozzarella, good save on the goal line, so he'll take over. Does have the two goal lead with 65 seconds to play. Oh, that's so well done. Oh, that's nice. Look at this. He shows the backflip flick. Fails out of it and then kicks it right behind the challenge. He's extended the lead. Desperately hoping to push this to five. Oh my goodness, every ounce of boost required for that save. Edgeby with some time and space here. What does he put together? A funky play, but it works. Mozzarella expecting a flick there, but the lack of a touch from Edgeby ends up resulting in an outplay. Now Mozzarella with time. What does he do? Ceiling set up. Able to very quickly and easily outplay Edgeby. Patience there in the box as Edgeby sprints back to defense. Proves to be effective. 28 seconds left. Mozzarella up three. done. Edgeby. You know, he wasted a little bit of time there, but he saw Mozzarella just very calmly waiting on defense. Took advantage of that patience, but Mozzarella with another kickoff win, and that should secure it. Three goal lead with 11 seconds left. We're not going to see that. Uh, we're not going to see that happen here. Game five is on the way. Do they know they have another game to play? Do they know they have another game to play? Oh! So close. GG's! Mozzarella takes game four. For anyone that has just tuned in, a reminder for the folks that maybe forgot. Edgeby currently holds a record for my stream, you can check these uh, stats, player results, etc. at hootiehoo.com. I mean that. I know it sounds like I'm trolling, but that's real. <laughs> I have a little database uh, where we keep track of all these matches. And currently, Edgeby holds the longest win streak record at five games. Mozzarella is on a four-game win streak. Or I should say four four series win streak. So Edgeby looking to defend his record while Mozzarella looking to tie it up. Edgeby fighting through fighting through the bump. It's his first goal of game five as well. So clean. So clean. Edgeby wins the race to the boost. Taps it up high. Holds that dodge. It's a flick to the far side.
406 to play. Edgeby gets another. Quick outplay in the middle of the field results in a slow recovery for Mozzarella. Nice clear by Edgeby. Buys him some time for the corner boost pickup, but Mozzarella with control possession looks for some more ground game. Unable to work it past Edgeby, but he does recover in time. Whoa. Edgeby shows a couple different flicks. Chooses to do neither and just go low with it. Mozzarella dives over the top. He's got a fifth, and this is getting out of hand quickly. Edgeby on fire here in game five. Mozzarella letting the full time run there on that replay. Maybe taking a moment to just get a deep breath, settle in. Lots of time left. I like this play. He's going to pull this back for control. See what he does. Well played. Well played. Mozzarella kept it low and slow. Controlled game. Was hoping for a, a bump there on Edgeby. Couldn't get it, but of course, able to poke it away and take a shot for a second. Whoa! Hold on. This is not even... I mean, this is obviously a flick, but this just looks like it slides off his car. Look at that. Mozzarella slots it to the near side. He's got a third. Maybe a fourth. Edgeby caught in no man's land. Can't make the save. Just under three minutes and Mozzarella has come storming back into this game. Got the next possession as well. Flip reset is good. Mozzarella ties it up. Five to five. Wow. What a swing in momentum. Mozzarella. Not even a minute ago, we were saying this is getting out of hand. But he has immediately turned this game on its head. Another great flick. Mozzarella with a seventh. Oh, my word. Edgeby, first possession in what seems like forever. And he'll be scoring with it. Edgeby shows reset, lets that ball fall to the ground. Mozzarella ends up falling off the post. So he's back within one. And we, folks, we're not even at the halfway point yet. 232. Incredible speed, Mozzarella. Well done right here to get this extra touch around. And that's not an easy angle. Well done to put that directly on target with his next touch. Six to eight. Mozzarella up. They kick off, so he'll have possession. He uses to go into the air. He's actually going to bring this back down. Pops high. Test the defense of Edgeby. And that's a powerful shot. 
It's right down the gut, but it doesn't matter. Edgeby unable to reach it. 2.05 to play. Lots of time left in this game. Another fake kickoff, and Mozzarella gets another possession. Not only is he getting possession, but he's wasting time. The bump. Mozzarella puts in a 10. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Maybe an 11th. As we keeps the first attempt out. Be able to grab the corner boost as well. That could be the break that Edgeby needs. Air dribble bump attempt. While he is unable to make contact, he does push Mozzarella far enough out of the play. He's unable to make the save. No way. Edgeby unable to get back in time. An incredible flick on the other side of the field. But a little bit too much power, actually, as he pings it off the post. Off the crossbar. Mozzarella most likely getting a 12th. Edgeby definitely going to be frustrated with that one. Oh, and he's done. Mozzarella... Will take the victory. GG's. Maybe we'll see if Monterella has a pogo for us. He says. With the jinx. No jinxing here. No jinxing here. That's just the, uh, you know. That's just the scenario that we're in. Oh, there it is. GG's. <laughs> Mozzarella. He says, uh, I said, GG's, thanks for playing. He said, thanks. And now I break the record.